Hey, it's Megan of Say Hello Mama, and today I'm going to give you a quick, sort of quick, comparison between two Lily Jade bags. These are two of the largest Lily Jade bags, not the largest. The Anne Marie is a weekender, and that one's really, really, really big, but for ones that are more diaper bag sized bags, but on the large side, they recently released, sort of recently, pretty recently released this gorgeous bag. This is the Jennifer in Brandy. It can be worn backpack style like the other Lily Jade bags and it has kind of a rosy style super long zipper here on the front as well as on the back of the bag which I'm a really big fan of and we're going to be comparing it to the Megan today which doesn't have any zippers on the outside of the bag but it does have three magnetic snap pockets one, two, and three. And this bag can be worn the same number of ways as the Jennifer and is also a really large bag. So I think the comparison is going to be really useful. Those of you looking for a large bag, I have three little ones now, four, two, and three months old. So I'm needing a lot of space at the moment, especially heading into fall with jackets and hats and all that stuff to keep everybody warm and cozy. I'm going to show you how I pack them with pouches because the Megan does come with the insert, but the Jennifer doesn't. I want to keep the comparison really obvious, I guess, um, showing you what each bag can hold. So I'm going to pack it using the same exact stuff. If you're an insert packer, I have a bunch of videos of how I pack the Lily Jade insert and you can see those in my Lily Jade playlist. But for today, we're going to try the pouches. We'll see how it goes. Leave a comment below. Um, I'm curious if you you're a pouch packer or an insert kind of gal or just a throw it in and hope for the best. I have been all three and sometimes fluctuate. But right now pouches are a great way for me to deal with all of the different ages of stuff I have. So let's start by talking about what I keep in the outside pockets of the Lily J. Jennifer. In this front pocket here I have a package of boogie wipes because you just need them all the time. I also have my wallet. This is the Lily Jade wallet in brandy. Matches perfectly obviously and that's gorgeous. And last thing in here is I have my keys and this pocket could hold a bunch more. It's so big like my whole arm I feel like could fit in there. It is such a generous size. Here on the back of the bag is another really large pocket, exactly the same size as the front pocket. And in here, I've been keeping a bunch of snacks for my kids and myself because I'm a nursing mom and I can't stop eating. So I have a couple of apple sauces, Pirates Foodie, one of those like on the go almond butters, fruit snack, RX bar, and lastly, yogurt raisins. What's great about these pockets is you can pull them out. Now it's not like machine washable or something crazy, but I've pulled them out and used like Dawn dish soap and never had a problem keeping my interior your pockets of my Lily J bag clean or the inside liner. Hopefully that gives you a good idea of what you can keep in these outside pockets. Now let's take a look at how I would keep some of those same items on the outside pockets of the Megan so you can get an idea of what fits on each bag. So now on to the Megan. In this front pocket here, I have in the past kept like my phone or my wallet and stuff like that, but right now I've thrown in all of those snacks I had in that big back pocket and those have all fit in here just fine. And that way I can have this in my front seat and throw snacks back at my very hangry children or feed myself. In this side pocket here, I have a package of buggy wipes. And in this side, I've just thrown in my keys. That way they're easy to find and reach for. So now I'm gonna tip the camera down and show you how I've packed the inside of the Jennifer. So let's take a look. Hey, I'm gonna try something kind of different. You guys can tell me how you feel about it in the comment section. But I have the bag unpacked here and I have my different items around. And I just wanna show you how much this bag can really hold. So let's start with something simple in this zipper pocket here. I'm just gonna put this cute little washcloth. I like to keep on hand. It's not like a burp cloth, but it definitely helps with little spit ups and things like that. In the largest of the Lily Jid pouches, this one here, I have all of the changes of clothes I need for my three little ones. So I'm gonna stick that right at the back of the bag. In the medium sized pouch, I have diapers for my kids. I still have two in diapers, so these are size three and size five diapers. Little trash baggies, little powder, and all that fits perfectly in the middle size pouch. And I'm just gonna line that up with the larger pouch here in the back. The smallest pouch holds my mom's stuff and an extra pacifier for my little guy. And I'm just gonna drop that right in front of the other one. So you've got a cute little trio pouch set there. This little red guy here is a Lily Jade change pad. I actually like throwing the red one in because it's really easy to spot and that way it kind of breaks up all of the beautiful teal I have going on. But you could also use a teal one. That would be totally fine and have a whole thing matching. This here is a little Aiden and I swaddle blanket. Of course that comes in handy all the time. I'm just going to tuck that inside next to the change pad here in the corner. Package of Costco wipes because I need so many and I'm just going to put that right in front of the pouches. This here is my cute beaker water bottle. I think that's how you pronounce it BKR it's like a silicone and it's 
just fun to play with. The kids get a kick out of it. They drink out of it too. And I'm just going to put that standing up over there in the corner here. And lastly, my pair of sunglasses. I know this is the sunglass pocket, but I keep my EOS in there because it fits better. And then my sunglasses right next to it. So now you have this beautifully packed bag and everything is really easy to see because the genius of these pouches, of course, is that they are partially see-through. And you can see I have tons and tons of rooms on here. I am going to show you a Lily Baby does fit in there real quick just so you don't think I'm a crazy person. It totally does. I'll go get it. Okay, great. I've grabbed my Lily Baby here and I'm just going to kind of haphazardly roll it because I never have time to like fold it perfectly on the go. And you can see like it does obviously add a lot of bulk to the bag, but I can squish it down and close that bag right up. And then inside I can just pull out my Lily Baby and everything underneath is still just where I need it to be. Easy to spot, easy to find. And then of course when it's not in there, the bag just shrinks down beautifully. It looks gorgeous and you're ready to go. And if you need to throw anything extra in, this bag can hold it all and then some. Okay, on to the Megan. Because I am pouch packing, it makes it so easy to transfer things between bags. So I have everything laid back out that I'm going to pack in here with the addition of my wallet. And that's because I use that front pocket, if you remember, for snacks. So let's start with that same little zipper pocket. I'm just going to throw that little washcloth in. And then I'll do the same. I'll start with the large pouch with all those changes of clothes. And this pouch fits literally perfectly along the back wall of the Megan. And you could still access the zipper pocket here. Next up, the diaper pouch. I'm going to do the same thing. Put that right in front. Pouch with all my stuff right in front of that. I'm going to take some of these bulkier items and put them off to the left over there, including the change pad. Tuck that right in. You can see things are filling up a little bit quicker on the Megan, but you still have loads of room at the top. You know what? Because the Megan is a slightly is not as wide as the Jennifer, I am actually going to take this swaddle blanket and put it here in front of those pouches in order to make a little perfect spot for my water bottle over here. Okay, perfect. So now the swaddle blanket is just in front, change pad and water are there. And that means the wipes are just going to sit on top of that swaddle, which is fine by me. That doesn't bug. Oh, perfect. I actually turned the swaddle upright. Wipes can fit right there upright. We're making it work perfectly. Now I'm going to take my wallet and I'm just going to tuck it off to the side there. Can you see it over there? There it is. Right there. And that's actually going to help the bag stay open even when I need to reach into it. Just providing a little bit extra structure. Sunglasses. I'm going to pop those right in the pocket. That's perfectly, that's exactly the same as on the Jennifer. And now you can see I did have to move things around a little bit and, and just a little bit different of a configuration, but you can still see absolutely everything I put in there. And then you could also do something like, you know, turn these this way, one, two, three, upright like that. And that way you could get a little view of what's in each of the pouches and the Megan would still fit that way. But for me, I like having them all this way, and I am going to see if that Lily Baby will fit on top of this. Again, I am no magical Lily Baby folder, but I think you can see it's definitely a tighter fit, and the bag is not going to zip closed, but you could carry the bag this way, just like out to the car or, you know, wherever you need to go in order to put your baby in your carrier. And then if you don't need that in there, of course, the bag zips beautifully. And this bag I've had for almost two years now, so you can see that it is slouchy and beautiful and still in just the most excellent condition. There's not even anywhere on the bottom, and I have not been careful with this bag. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you a good idea of what can fit in the Megan and in the Jennifer. Seriously, if you're looking for like a really large tote, either one of these is going to be a good way to go. It kind of just depends on your packing preference, if you like a little bit taller of a bag or a little bit wider of a bag. And then the difference between the zipper and the magnetic pockets on the outside. I feel like both bags hold so much, but the Jennifer definitely does hold more. It is a larger bag. But when you're using pouches to pack either one, I have enough room for all three of my kids. So it kind of just depends on your preference. But thank you so much for watching. If, if you have any questions, leave those in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. Thank you so much. Bye.